Good afternoon, everybody. Because that's what cool people do. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It's not a good afternoon at all. Um, the morning was alright. I overslept a bit, but I've been listening to the new Gary Newman CD that I got yesterday. But apparently everything is my fault. Dad had just come in a little bit ago and told me to quit trying to get Medicaid through DHS because I'm causing them to lose their food stamps. Because it's been cut down again. I'm like, well, I can tell them to forget about me trying to get Medicaid and, you know, just go without medical insurance like I've been. And he said no. I'm like, what the heck do you want then? I can't magically make your food stamps reappear. Like, did you not realize that this might happen? Because they were going off of, you know, there's this many people in the house and nobody's got a job. What am I supposed to do about that? I'm sorry that I have a job. I'm sorry that I'm trying to save money so that I can actually do something. Like, sorry, I'm trying to, you know, get my life on track. Apparently that's not allowed or something. I'm sorry guys, I just, it just really upsets me. Because all I'm trying to do is have a job so that I can pay off my friggin' debts and, you know, be able to pay for my own cell phone so that I can talk to my boyfriend and it's just, it's not working and, I mean, it's working but, you know, it's constantly trouble. It's like, oh, well, now I have to rearrange my plans because you have work and, and I just, everything is just kind of crashing. And then yesterday, work called while we were out in Dearborn. And I told them that I couldn't come in because I was out in Dearborn with family. And then a couple hours later they called back and they're like, Oh, sorry, but we have to cut your shift on Friday. So I'm like, thanks, you know, I'm sorry I made plans on my day off of work and I couldn't come in when you asked if I could. And like, sorry, but, you know, I had plans. And it's just... Everything's just kind of crashing down the last two days, and I'm just I'm getting really upset because, you know, work's cutting my hours now because I couldn't jump one day when they wanted me. And, you know, Dad's blaming me about the food stamps, and it's just... It's like everything is my fault again, and... It's not like I have anyone that I can talk to because... You know, I'm constantly trying to talk to my friends, and they're all always ignoring me. So I just, I don't know what to do anymore, and it's... It's getting really tough, and... I'm just trying to save money so that I can move, because I want to be with Alex, and... It's like suddenly everything's against it, and just trying to keep me here, and... I don't want to be here. <laughs> Especially don't want to be in the city where I am, but... Freeland's better, but... I just, in general, I don't want to be in the States. <laughs> like, there's nothing here for me, like... I realize that my fans are everywhere, and... You know... That's not... Like, I have friends here in the States. I've never met them in person, yet they get mad at me when I talk about wanting to leave. They're like, oh, you're abandoning me. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, the crap. We've never met in person. We're online friends. I can be your friend no matter what country either of us are living in. And it's just everyone's trying to make me feel horrible and just... I don't know what to do because... I'm just trying to work towards my goal so that I can be happy and everything is just kind of, it's like one step forward, three steps back it seems. I try, like, aside from my job, I'm trying to like sell things so that I can earn more money, so that I can save, so, and it's just, it's not working. I made t-shirts like you guys wanted and nobody's bought anything. I have I make jewelry that you guys suggest that's really cute and that, oh, I would totally buy it if you made it. So I make stuff and then you guys just kind of disappear and it's just, 
once or twice I can understand it, but after months and months, it's just, you know, the excuses aren't, I just, I can't believe them anymore, it's just, I'm so sick of everything, and I know that my vlogs are like, severely lacking anymore, and I just, I don't know what to do anymore, it sucks. It's been a long day, guys. Um, I do feel better, though. I got some things out of, out of the boxes downstairs, because I went downstairs to look for jewels to work on the craft frame things, but there weren't any. Like, I have them, <clears throat> but I couldn't find them. Um, so, yeah, I have to do without. Um, I did this one. That one is done. And... What else? I don't know what else. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, my voice is like being weird. Um, uh, I can't remember. Mom made soup for dinner, and for some reason, after she pulled the potatoes out of the pot, they went black. Like, we literally watched them turn black. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what the heck's going on. Like, the, the potatoes, we'd gotten them from Fish and Loaves. And I'd eaten one, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or something. Or a week ago, something like that. And it didn't taste right. Like, the, I thought it was the skin just tasted weird. But it just, overall, didn't taste right. Um, I guess there's some, I don't know if it's just a really weird brand. I don't know what brand that's normal that would turn black. They shouldn't. But I told mom we should probably throw them out. Anyways, the washing machine decided to eat part of my robe. It ripped one of the balls off because there's like two of the balls. And it ripped one off. And then I'm like, oh, okay. So I threw, threw the stuff in the dryer, including the <clears throat> ball because it was wet. And the, the dryer decided to tear that apart too. So... After some sleuthing, I figured it out and put the ball back together and sewed it back on. And that's the one that's hanging right there, actually. <clears throat> so it doesn't look the same as the other. It doesn't look as good, but it's there. It's back together. And I did it myself. So that's good, at least. It's something. And I still feel kind of bad because Alex gave it to me. And it kind of makes me sad that the washing machine kind of wrecked it, but at least I was able to fix it. Oh, well, I'm waiting for Dad to come back upstairs so that I can go down. There's a bathroom down there, and he's like, I'm going to the bathroom. No one's allowed down there. Okay, Dad, I'm not going into that room, but whatever. Anyways, I gotta get my laundry before I can go to bed. But, until then, I hope you all have a wonderful night, slash morning, slash whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Night. Our love will break through this